she's uh, she obviously can play quite a bit better. She's made a few unforced errors. Well, again, that's an unbelievable pickup from Janapa. With interest on this drop shot, she's gone for the nick here. Walili just missed, and that is absolutely fine. And that's the first game to Chinapa. She just looks a little bit flat, doesn't she? Well, it's a lack of focus. I think it's it's purely mental here. Losing a sort of tight first game like that, where she had chance chances to take the game, is usually all you need to sort of get the adrenaline going a little bit. But she's still not really looking that up for it in this second game so far. Just needs to be a little bit careful. I mean, it's um, she's a pretty relaxed player. That's what she's all about, and that's what we like to see here on Squash TV. But we don't like to see this many errors and lack of focus. I don't know whether she's got a slight injury or it doesn't look like she's her movement's hampered. If she can just get a couple more points on the board here, then she might make Chinapa a little bit, a little bit edgy. Well, at the very least, in this sort of situation, even if the game has gone, you've got to try and sort of change the momentum. Well, that's more like it from Anim. What a volley that was. That's what we're more used to seeing from the world number one. So still four game balls for Chinapa. It's a great chance here to go two of up against the world number one. And potentially cause a great upset and Another great finish, and she takes the second game. And she's raced to a very quick lead here. Yeah, it's a good point, Vanessa. She does she talks about people talk about a short game, and there's an example of that great wrist and control at the front of the court. But her length game is phenomenal as well. So that's six game balls for the world number one. And she takes it for the first asking within striking distance. And you really don't want her to get a run of points. That's a good shutout from El Walili. This is getting a little bit edgy now for her Willy Lee. Not that she shows it. That's well straightened from a decent boast. And this is a really tough rally. was possibly one of the best rallies of the match so far. I think so. For what I believe to be possibly the biggest win of her career. That stayed in. Oh, and that's it. That's a fantastic win for Chinapa. Totally against the odds. She's taken out the world number one, Rini Mawalili. She walks off a forlorn figure. And there we have the result, 11-9, 11-6, 4-11, 11-9 to Chinapa. What a start to this Qatar Classic.